Never mind. So then we feel then it disappears. You get. Uh, ooh, you think, uh. I really need to get a laptop or a PC or some sort of thing. You know. <sighs> yeah. See, look, it's right there. It says not. It says empty. But every time you go off and do the thing, it just bloody. And it says no changes have been made. See, look. And then next thing you know, it turns up out of nowhere. It's like yeah, See, look, not changing. Stupid. And you change something in the map, and then yeah, it just does it goes wrong, and then, I don't know. In a way, for gaming and streaming, it's not really going well for tonight, and it's going nighttime. Ooh, ooh. this is not something you want to be doing standing. Up. See, that's exactly what I mean. Wait, do you mind? I give you, I give you a paper. I'll give you some paper. I'll give you paper. Ooh, I'm right next to a verge on this one. Cool. Maybe if I if I get this one going really well, that'd be cool. But ah, oh, crap. Drowned guy. <sighs> right. First tip uh, and trick of um. Ah! See ya. Oh crap. First tip and trick of Minecraft uh, yeah in the daytime get as much materials as possible you can and then find somewhere to stay out of the darkness and uh, yeah otherwise you're gonna end up getting hit lucky enough on Minecraft right your hearts do uh, replenish so uh, yeah right okay uh, hopefully it's gonna work now Let's uh, just make sure I'm in a place where I'm safe. I really want to go over there, get in one of those buildings, but meh. Not everybody um, will start off with a village. So, you know. Hey, there we go. Minecraft. Yay! Okay. Gorgola. Hey, back again. Nice. Awesome. If you really like what you like, make sure you follow and... Uh, which I really, really like. <laughs> Sub. Oh crap. Oh, leave me alone. Ah! Do you mind? I'm doing a tutorial video here. Just do one. Don't make me hit you. Yamma. Skeleton's over there. Yamma. Right. Come on. I've got to do a tutorial video. We just go away. See, all my fans, man, they love me. They love me. And see, in nighttime it sucks. We just go away. Yeah, Run! The only problem is though, if I keep them running like this, and I've got no food, I'm gonna end up, um, you know, well, dying of hunger and stuff. So, <laughs> which ain't good. But hey. Okay. Anyway, right. Is he still coming after me? Anyway, um, first thing you want to do when you get on Minecraft, make sure it's daylight. If it's not daylight. Run like a mother. Now, this is the new version, so some of the things will be a little bit different to the older version. We just go away. So some of the things will be a little bit different, but majority of it is the same. So if you're on the new version, the one that can basically do everything, then it's all good. First thing you want to do, you've got this thing called a map. Um, if you're on the PlayStation R1, L1. They move the little marker around, so you know, good times. Um, 
if you have done that if you're on the PlayStation press the triangle button which will open your inventory and as you can see it's different as well compared to how it was on the new the older version so what you want to do is you want to open your map so in this version it's L2 and R2 which is as I say most of the stuff is still the same but L2 is to um, put down stuff and new stuff in this game on the PlayStation don't know what they are on the other ones so I'm just worried about that yeah anyway uh, R2 is to hit things destroy stuff basically the opposite you know L2 good R2 bad I'm not too sure if it's the same on Xbox or PC or wherever because obviously PC's got a million keys so you know and probably I'm guessing it might be something to do with the mouse right click destroy left click you know might put stuff down but hey uh, we'll only know one day anyway uh, that might be a safe place but, you know. anyway uh, anyway first tip of the thing right so wherever your button is for inventory as it says on the thing so you can pretty much see most of the buttons anyway so that's all good and he's still coming but yeah I got a zombie now I got drowned where is it? No, there's a creeper over there. I did put it on hard, so, you know. Sorry. So, it might take a while to uh, get going. And if it is with the new updates, be careful. If, you, if you're if you not been asleep for three days, for three days, you will see um, some sort of bats in the sky. They're called phantoms. So if you do see them, it's because you haven't slept for three days and some reason they um, try and attack you. Like say for instance, new in this one, beehives. So just be careful. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so as you can see on the screen on the new version, it tells you your buttons anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. So as you can see, L2 is to open and use all your bar things. R2 is to mine stuff. If you see the little square that's like going around, wherever you put that, you know, or wherever you're looking, that's what's going to be destroying stuff. Now, if you've taken all this stuff off, well, it's going to be even harder for you. But obviously, if you took all the stuff off, you might know Minecraft a lot better than most other people. Anyway, so, all right, I think it was safe now. Well, safe as we can be in Minecraft at night time. Anyway, here we go. So, as you can see on the screen at the moment, it says... Um, square is crafting so if we press square if we've got any materials we can make stuff if you want to know what to make you can just turn this off and it'll tell you uh, what you need to make if you really want to find what you want to make like say for instance if you put sword then you'll be able to ah, no don't throw your map away ah. wait go away so basically, if I really want to run to, right, I'd start hitting him with the uh, thing. But as I say, sometimes your hearts regenerate. It's when your um, food starts degenerating, then you're in trouble. Because your hearts won't uh, regenerate like they should. So I'm not so sure about the... Oh, there's some flowers. Ah, oh, pretty. Uh, is he gone? Is he... Yeah. Are we good? Ah, oh, there's a guy there. Crazy. Sounds like someone else around. Yep, he's coming up. Right. Anyway. I think I'll make this a walking and talking video because clearly those guys aren't going to stop for a while. As you can see, my hearts are back up again. And the food's gone and it's becoming daylight now. So if you can see the moon at the back, that's going down. And then from the other side, you can see the sun coming up. Now, if you've got loads of materials and stuff, you can actually buy, you can actually build something called a clock. Now, what that does is basically um, can, if if you don't like going out at night time, it'll basically tell you what's what. You know, it'll tell you, hey, it's night time. It won't actually tell you, but you, you'll figure it out. Basically, it goes round in a circle, and because it's um, daytime now. Well, coming up to daytime most mobs 
or creatures or monsters, whatever you want to call them, enemies to, for short, they will burn. They will burn. If they can't survive in daylight, they will burn. So what they'll try and do is get in underneath a tree or they'll get in some water or basically where some, wherever some shade is. So daylight now. So yes, we can finally start. If you get like this, if you see that bad boy, that bad boy is like pretty much a good savior. The only things that keep on coming is creepers, maybe witches, and I'm not too sure about the drowned ones because they're already dead. I think mini, zomb mini zombies come after you. Skeletons fry, big zombies fry. So yeah. So the first thing you want to do, obviously now we can have a little chat and whatever, is open up your inventory. You see if you've got anything, but you haven't, but you've got a map. So that's the only one you need so more. Now you press your, as you can see on the right side, it says create map. So you press that button wherever it is, which in my case is L2. So I go, mm, and now I can hold it up like this. And this shows me where I am. You can turn coordinates on. So you can basically say, hey, I'm in 24, 64, 55. And then that way, if any friends join or you, you put a base there, like a chance is you're gonna able to find where you are. Now I don't put coordinates on because what's the point in having a map then? It, the, it, the map used to become the coordinates, but now they want us to not use the coordinates. So why do we? But anyway, while you've got the map on you, open up your inventory again, and you see this little uh, shield thing here. This can go for things like your torches and your um, well, basically anything that can be held in the left in your in your non-usable hand so like torches maps can be holding there so basically I can put that in there and look in my left hand it can see the map wherever it is now and that map shows you where you've been already however when you walk off the edge like for instance if I walk all the way over here it uncovers it all but on this map it only has that quarter or segment so if I keep on walking and you don't really want to walk too far because from where you started because when you die you spawn there again unless you've had a bed always get a bed and then put it down because that is where your spawn points are um, so like say for instance if I died right here I would spawn again over there so that means I'd have to walk all the way over here and get on the stuff if there was anything but yeah, as I say, um, but don't really worry about that for the moment. All you really need to know is the basics. And if you do, if you do my basics, you will survive without dying at all. And look, see, sugar cane, yay! Anything you see and it looks good, just always have it. But as you can see, this this map is for this crit anyway, so I can probably find where I'm back anyway. So all these trees are going to be coming handy in a bit. We'll get to that in a bit. If you want to know anything, like crazy, like for instance, the main man has turned up. If he played Minecraft, oh my god, the skills would come out like crazy. But he doesn't. He does, however, play a lot of games that are a bit more, um, you know, skilly and, um, you know, using the brain to get yourself better. And see what I mean? You go towards the end of the screen, right? And it won't go anymore. What you need to do now is you need to get another map, open it up. And then, basically, in there's a thing called item frame. And what you do is you put that item frame somewhere where you're going to be knowing the map. And then that will sort of give you a hint what your map looks like. Now, if I started building something here, it would say something on the map. It would go a little bit greener, go a little bit browner, depending on what you put in. But yeah, anyway, so as you can see now with the hearts, because it ended up, because we haven't really been um, looking for food, we haven't been looking for supplies, we've been getting killed by things. So if we get the food up, the hearts stay up, but if we get hit now, the hearts will go down. We don't want that. There is lots of ways to get the hearts up though. Um, the main way to get the hearts up is kill animals, and um, get a furnace and well eat them whatever you do you see that guy over there 
I can look him in the eye, but just make sure your character, this guy, you know, hello there, uh, does not look him in the eye. Because if he looks him in the eye, for some reason he goes crazy and opens up his mouth like, you know, God knows. So uh, just be careful. What you need to do to, so he doesn't do that is wear a pumpkin head. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. We'll get to that soon. Right, so now what we're going to try and do, going to go back to, um, you know, the bits and bobs. All right, firstly, right, when you're moving in Minecraft, just be careful. Uh, three blocks high and you will not take a hit. Any more than three, you will get a hit. Like say, for instance, if I fall off one of these now, I will um, be fine. But if I was to make this four blocks high, I would get hurt. And because I've got no uh, food at the moment, I'm pretty much in trouble. So, yeah. So, it's kind of harsh, this game. It starts you out with nothing, but the, the better you are, you know, the quicker you can get started. Like, for instance, two of my friends... Uh, chicken and python they've been trying to teach me how to find loads of stuff in less than um, you know five minutes you know they've got loads of iron they got diamond gear you know everything all I've got is a base which I know what you're gonna say yeah but don't they need bases what well, well kind of and kind of not but then usually come to mind which is crazy as well so it's fun Hey, and Volt, while you're here as well, um, one of these horses, right, came when I was doing the thing, and it looked exactly like Grim, your horse. So I, I should have just copied it, but I thought, nah, I'll uh, go for it as best as possible. So I did. And, um, well, I tried my best. I tried my best. As you know, I, if, I, if I don't try my best, I don't have fun. When I do try my best, most of the times I enjoy the game a little bit more because I worked hard for it. Like for instance, most people with Division, they'll be like, oh, that's a shit game, oh, blah. Minecraft is a shit game, blah. Red Dead Redemption is a shit game. But because we put our time and effort into it, guess what? It becomes a good game. Like the only reason why people don't like Minecraft is because they've got no creativity. And plus, I think the other big impact why no one likes it is because the graphics you know all the pixels like you want smoothness well there is a there is a um there is a pack you can buy called vanilla now it kind of looks a little bit like the games that we're into a bit more but it's still minecraft in the end so you know you might as well stick with the original because unless you're planning on spending money then hey good times Anyway, so first thing you want to do is, um, you see these trees? You want to start hitting them as hard as possible with your hand. It might hurt. Oh, it might hurt. But the first thing you want to do is do this. Because this will open up everything then. I know what you're going to say, yeah, but you're destroying trees. You know, you're not environmental friendly. Don't worry. I'm one of the guys that is environmental friendly. What I tend to do is wait for saplings to drop, replant the tree, and then, like, say, for instance, look, I got food. <laughs> See, look at this. This is the reasons why I have trees, why I like trees. You know, they're good. Right, so what I can do now, while I'm waiting for the saplings to drop so I can replant it, is, you see where it says crafting button? Well, now we've got wood. So now we've got two things that we can make. So... If we click on that one, it'll, it says we need logs, and it gives us four at the end. If we click on this one, it gives us um, shaved wood, which is kind of alright, but it, we kind of probably want this one more, to be honest with you. So we click um, your craft button, which in this case, it says X craft one. So now it opens up a lot more. So in a way, what you'd perfectly want is... To make some sticks from it you know doesn't matter how many you want because it's all good now these blocks you want to click it again until you see some weapons and some other stuff 
which at the moment the first thing you should build is the crafting table then that one's that and then you put this down any saplings yet? nope but there is some sticks this, on the new versions they, they seem to drop sticks a little bit more as well which is crazy but it, help, it helps though so that way you don't have to go around uh, breaking as much wood so you put your crafting table down doesn't matter where you put it for the moment because you're going to be um, taking it down now this is basically that thing that you were looking at before but everything that's red you can't make everything that's white you can make so the first thing you wanted to get is an axe or a sword whichever one you get but look, that's four attack that's three attack so you want to get the sword first but if you're not planning on you know staying too quickly you know too like close to death what you want to do is get an axe and a and a spade and a pickaxe those are the three main tools in this game that you need pickaxes for everything besides from wood shovels are for dirt so no matter how much dirt you get just just get rid of it as best as possible uh, axes are, are you mainly for your wooden stuff like your chest your doors anything see everything basically on here that is what you want it for so because we've been dying a little bit what we want is a sword and look on the right side it tells you how to make it now if you were playing on the old version on the PC that would be how you'd have to put it in exactly but obviously um, you know you don't have to so you click that and look now I've got a sword ah oh, crap press triangle oh, but now I've got two anyway so it's a bit more easier so you get two swords one on each side that way it's a bit safer because now I can now I can attack things make safe which is fun right so what you need to do again is click that box and then get the axe axe is probably the best one for the moment though because otherwise you'll get run loads of things um, but yeah ow you mother now let me know, me mother. Yeah, I got a sword now. Bring it. Now what they dropped is some rotten flesh, which is is good for um, brewing pages, uh, brewing stands, which I haven't used. Look, there we go. Yay! Now because we've got an axe, we can take this down a bit quicker, and then replant it. Yay! And it's good to go. Right, so open up that. Uh we get this again uh, I think we need more sticks actually so then we get a shovel and a pickaxe and I think that's it for the moment so what you want to do is sort out your thing so you know where everything is so basically the stuff that you need is these and what you want to do is put it so there's a thing in the middle Dude, try and talk here. Just go away. Go away. Go away. Ow, bitch. But yeah, see my health. It's really, really low. So what you want to do now is take this down. Keep it with you. Yeah. Now, this is what some people do. They, they keep it with them, and then they go crazy. Obviously, I've been talking to you, so I've been missing up on my chances to get all this wood. The best thing to do is get loads of wood you know as much as you can possibly get before it starts going daylight once it goes dark like for instance I can grab this one now to make it a bit easier so I've got a bit more uh, wood and any, any spaces that you have in that little bar it will it will come up there which would be nice and I'd say you know if you want you can always wait oh crap just go away all you gotta do is basically hold your a hit button wherever that is well not hold it but tap it like um you know you never had a thing and there's a baby pig baby piggy no it's baby monkey <laughs> baby monkey right in now if you're impatient right you could just start whacking all these leaves 50 50 chance that things will come out you don't have to but obviously if you replant them there's a chance that you'll get um, you know the tree back again so we, we know we're gonna get that tree back and I think that just see one then so that's there so 
then it doesn't exactly mean it'll grow right there but what i do is i tend to always plant where i've got and i've got a free tree now as well which is great so i can keep that so uh, if i need to take another one out it will grow it does take its time to grow though but as you can see where um you're taking stuff you will be able to get stuff and now because we can hit stuff we get a chicken now you want that for uh, food the main one you want to start killing though is sheeps you need at least three sheep if you're lucky minimum of three sheep anyway because they, they've got wool right you need free wool and you need um, free free uh, wood and planks if you get those, you can make a bed. Now, if there's no monsters around, you can go to sleep. If you go to sleep, all these monsters, because they're like, like all these guys, all the sun is going to burn them like crazy. So if you want to make it safe, just hit everything. Be careful with the skeletons, as they've got um, bow and arrows, so they might be able to hit you. And if you ever see anything like this, this is perfect. Because it saves you uh, going everywhere, but just be careful when you're going in because these are caves and, um, well, they're quite dark, so you might end up uh, losing stuff. And look at that iron. Just be careful when you're trying to mine stuff, though, because, well, you know, certain things can, can break certain things. So what you want to do for now, since you've got a shovel and it's night time, what you want to do is dig around doesn't matter how many you do but the more you um, dig out the better I think there's a spider around just make sure you're aware of your surroundings always and make sure you don't dig too deep two it because one is your jumping height so just be careful on that and what you want to do is dig out a little area and they can't jump over too, too high. So basically what you want to do is make a little um, base. At the moment, as always, when you first start off in Minecraft, dirt bases are your, are your friends. Always. Now, I don't really tend to um, make... Um, big dirt places every time I uh, start a new Minecraft one I tend to do things a bit differently all the time like see look say for instance and the more you use something it disappears then so what you need to do if you want to still use a thing a uh, shovel is you need to firstly check your surrounding then you need to get a stick out let's get a shovel again then, you know, get the shovel back, uh, get the axe, take this down. Just remember, if you die, you lose that. If you lose that, then you're in trouble, and you don't want to do that. What the hell? I'm drop that in, not So what you want to do is, if you want to make it really, really safe, all those things that you just did then, Basically, jump up once, and as you jump in, sorry, as you jump in, press your craft button. Now, now you can walk across and put um, these down. So basically, I will be safe in there. And this is too high, so they can't get in. I'm not saying that I got enough uh, dirt. See what I mean? That's a skeleton that is. Ow. Ow, skeleton. So, skeleton can't get me here, but he'll come round and he'll try and say hello. See? Just make sure you be careful with them. Sometimes these give you bow and arrows as well, which is very, very nice of them. 
So for now, what instead of doing it too high, just do it one high so that way, you know, you got a little bit of safety. See what I mean? If I stay in there, they can't get in there too much. But obviously they can get in because, well, it's not uh, too high. If I can make it all around, they will not be able to get me. So what you do, back again, get your dirt going. Always keep an idea on, on your surroundings. So while that map is out, you can pretty much keep it going as best as you can. And you know those trees that you took down before? If you remember where they were, because uh, as you've seen, we got some stuff from them. It would be quite nice if you went back and uh, seen if you could get more stuff. Alright, so. There you go, safe. So, nothing can get in now. I'm safe. The only problem is, I can't get out. So, what you do, put some stuff around, and then this will be what's known as a dirt door. So, you just basically take it and then put it in. But while you've got it like this, what you need to do, because you've got a place to stash all your stuff now, first things first, because obviously you know you're going to die soon, go to your crafting table, get your planks again, click on it twice and then that should be uh, making a chest and as you can see it makes eight so what you want to do is get one of those and there you go you can put this in now and then all your stuff you can put them in I tried to keep it as tidy as possible so as you can see food uh, all your woods and stuff you know the cleaner you keep it, the uh, better you'll uh, be. And then, uh, yeah. So basically keeping all the main things together. Like I say, might not need that sword, but I think until I get a stone one, I might do. And then, obviously, keep that in there for extra safety later on. You know, as you do and obviously keep one of these in there because you might want to make a tree farm later you know and then you got your own supply of it which is nice um, but yeah okay all right so I'm gonna go and try and get to that thing see if I can um, get there So that's um, going to be the door, as best you can. You can always put something else there, but obviously, uh, you know. And look, see, that tree's grown already. Yay! The other one hasn't, though. But it might have dropped something, so, yeah. There's a chicken. Come here. Thank you. So I've got two chickens at the moment, but we need a furnace to cook that, but... As I say, don't worry too much at the moment. As soon as we um, have got the wood that we need, then we can start um, crafting other stuff. And because we've got one already here, we can just go boop and then stick it in there. And then search around, see if you can find any food. Or another sapling. There's another sapling, so got two saplings straight away from it. So if you wanted to as well to make it a bit more easier, to make more grow, you can just plant another tree anywhere and it will grow. You know. Like say for instance, the best thing you could do right now, since I've made that, you can put this in there and since there's no roof, you could probably put it in there as well. And then it then you can grow it. As long as you keep 
these saplings, these are pretty much the best things in the game. But people don't use them. Because people are like, oh, I need wood. Oh, I need apples. Oh, I need this. Blah, 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 blah. Well, how are you going to get apples when every single tree is gone? You see? Crazy. And people use saplings to make uh, tree farms, automatic tree farms. But how you make automatic tree farms is you need skeletons. And they give you bone meal. So, you know. It's crazy. Right. So there's nothing there. But we've got, a, got some more wood. So what we want to do now. Oh, careful. Oh, also, what I was going to say before. Um, how you can run around by pushing your stick one time or your keyboard or whatever one time that's just going to be normal speed if you push it twice whatever it is it'll start running which would be nice alright so because it's a wooden door we got that and what I was saying was if you got at least nine squares in your place you can put the tree there and if you're lucky it, it might grow if it doesn't, well, yeah, that's the uh, downer. And then basically what you can do is just stick all your stuff, as best you can, in here. And then it's fun. You yeah. know, as much stuff as you want. Alright, so what you want to do now is get this, get this. Actually, what you want to do first is... You see this one? Well, this is what you want to do first. Since you're in a little safety sp spot, uh, just remember to put your door back in, otherwise um, things can get in. Obviously spiders and stuff and the bloody things can get you. But, yeah. So as I say, you need to look for wool mainly. But for now, this would be, this would be fine. So what you want to do is in one of your corners or one of your spaces, just get a little corner and start uh, digging now what you want to do is make sure you leave one step next to the thing so you can easily go up and down and then once you've done that so say for instance I'm using this one I'll take this one out take this one out take this one out and now look I've got um, stone now so I have to be careful with that but so I don't take that one out take this one out and the lower you go there's more chances of getting stuff. Now we need eight of these blocks. So until this um, wooden axe breaks, we're going to keep on going like this. Now this is the best way to get down and up. And obviously, because we're doing this now, we are going to be safe. Nothing gets us unless we run into um, a cave. And well, yeah. However. There will be one thing that we need, and that will be. Um, see, you gotta be careful with that. Because uh, right. obviously, um, you know, you do you take out of that, you're gonna have to take it up your stairs, and then you're in trouble. So basically, go until it gets really, really dark. Because look, we got shelter now, so things can't get us, which is nice. So once you get uh, once you think you've got enough cobblestone, which in this case we want at least we want at least three for um, your stone pickaxe. And what you can do since you got a little bit of a, a, a dig out there, you know, start digging around. As long as you uh, watch out for your bits. And don't dig too high, then you're good to go. And as you can see, this is pretty much safety now because I'm in like a little hut, so which would be nice. The only downside with that staircase is you know, you're gonna have to keep on jumping to get up, which might take down your um, things, and uh, that's not a good idea, All right? So and make sure you do it at least free high if you can 
so otherwise um, yeah and as you've seen before that little cave if we keep on digging this way it's gonna end up getting us close to it and as you can see it's quite dark we need to figure out how to make torches right so we go in there now you can use slabs or as I've recently started getting back into you can use stone slabs now because you want to make a furnace you need eight in there and then you want some um, sticks so now you can make a stone sword which is a bit more um, harder but obviously you want to pick out because your wooden swords are just about wooden ones are just about to die you want a um, stone axe because well they're stronger and uh, what you need to do now you need at least eight which you have so you get your furnace uh, wherever it is put that in there get your blocks in blocks in right. so you get your furnace out You can put it wherever you want. You can even build it underground. So you get this. Now this is how you get coal when you can't when you can't find any. What you do is you split it into a couple of stacks. Put one in the bottom, one in the top. And then what you do is with this coal that comes out, you put that one in the bottom, and you put this one in the top and then you'll get six but obviously you're only going to use five because you want one for um, the food and one for um, you know whatever so while you take that one get your sticks that you had so it only need one stick but we'll take all four just to be on the safe side at the moment and then get that uh, we'll wait for one more right, there you go then you go back in there and now you can make torches now you can either press craft all which crafts as many as you can make or you can do that but it makes four each time which is nice and let's get that coal and get that and then that so now what you can do is you can make everything a little bit safer so you mainly want to put stuff in your downstairs areas and wherever that you've done because things can um, see look it's a lot more different now because things can appear and you don't want that and if you do you're crazy so what you want to do as well to make sure you know where you're going put a little torch around your base that way keeps the ghoulies a little bit away which is nice and then make sure you close your door up All right I've been in the kitchen making food but listening you are good at teaching how to play this game lots of explanations good job Eddie it's like you've all you know I, I think I've been learning from you you know the the smallest details can help a lot but if you're saying that I'm a good explainer does that mean my speech from wherever it was the other night when you said you gotta be slower and pronounce it a little bit more has that gone a little bit better because if so we alright anyway um, we should have some coal in here now so what we do is we put both in there get your chicken and your ham out or your raw meat uh, you put it doesn't matter how many you put in for the moment but the maximum that you want to do is eight so say for instance add eight of those put one coal eight one coal every single time you put one in get one coal now what you want to do if you ever do have like seven or not as not quite as much what you need to do is get really quick and put it in there. Now what you do, because you got food, 
Chickens take up four, so I possibly might be able to get uh, full health again. Which then my heart will start now. I still need this. Bummer. And as you can see, it's going to waste it. But look, now I've got that, and if you watch now, the hearts will keep on going up. And if you're wondering what that, where it says in the middle, where it says free, that's enchantment stuff and your levels. Basically, that comes in handy when you're doing, well, enchanting, I guess. So, at the moment, the next best thing to look for now would be um, a, um, what's it called? <sighs> Uh, sheep again so you can get more of this uh, wool so for instance I put free there so that way we know that we just need two more wool so it's up to you what you can do you can either finish off your house so that way if things do start coming in at night time you're not gonna die they can't get in they cannot get in the only way they can get in is if they um, or a creeper and they blow her up and um, yeah that's not exactly great but as I say sometimes that will grow sometimes it will not but it all depends on uh, how light it is I guess and any dark spots any dark spots like say for instance that corner there if it's dark enough they will spawn stuff and that is not good so what we'll do first is we'll get rid of this uh, wooden pickaxe down here. That's one o'clock. One o'clock. Wow. We'll get rid of the wooden pickaxe. The higher the pickaxes go, or any of your, any of your tools go, the faster things will go. Faster things will go. And it'll be great. Look, see, broken. So now, when I use this, it'll be crazy. So we'll get at least 64 um, uh, cobblestone. Um, and try and make a bigger base as best as possible. Basically, if you're underground, nothing can get unless you unless you find, um, you know, a cave, which. If you find a cave, then um, yeah, you're in trouble. Also, you could be happy as well because sometimes caves have good stuff. That's where you can find everything. Now, the main things that I'll be trying to show you as best as possible in these tips. Oh, look at that, see? See, look at that. Now, that is what you want to see when you're first starting out and you first pick in your first um, pickaxe. That is what you want to see. Now, if you're not too sure what that is, like, I'll ask Volt, Volt, do you know what this is? You haven't played Minecraft before, but do you have any idea what this is? And just to let you know, you've played games before that might have it. Like, I'll give you a little hint. It, it's in Division and Division 2. Might not exactly be the same name, but it is a material you use to make stuff. Now, to help everybody out, because obviously it's first time seeing everything. This is called iron ore. Now it might sound strange, but this is the best thing. Why is it bad to? F what? Why is it bad to find a cave? Oh, well, it, as I say, it's not bad to find a cave. It's just that. Oh, that's that's iron ore. You know, as I said, from division materials. You know, you can use iron to um, make all your things. But, like, say, for instance, if I cut through this wall now, and I, I end up in a cave, at the moment, I'm unexperienced. But just, just think I'm unexperienced. Obviously, I'm trying to teach everybody how to do the short bits. But if I'm unexperienced, and, and if you can hear the noises, if you can hear the spiders, that spider might be behind there. And if you haven't got a sword or anything to protect you with, you might end up breaking something down, and then... There might be swords in there. Like, for instance, before, Chicken went into um, a fight. He thought he could win it. But he he was unmatched because there was a load of things around him. He got killed by a drowned. You know that guy that was chasing me before? He got um, 
killed by a skeleton, two drowned people, and um, a witch. So you gotta be careful. Now caves are great. I didn't knock them. I didn't say they were totally bad. I just meant you know you don't really want to be going into caves at the beginning. At the beginning, for the first couple of depending on how long you're planning on playing on this world, for the first couple of minutes you want to basically be making sure that you've got a base where you can bring all your stuff. You know, you know like um, the stash on uh, Division, in a way, this is in a way like my base of operations. So basically this chest here, you know, but I wish Division was like this. Basically if I had wood, I could make as many chests as I wanted. This whole room could be chests. So basically I could have all... Whoa, see what I mean about spiders? Jamma. Get out of my house. Mother. Now spiders are kind of cool because they give you a string. So if you like uh, shooting stuff from a distance, they can give you a string. And then you, all you need then is three sticks and then you just need to make your arrows. Or you can go killing the skeletons. Whichever you find easy. And then it'll be fun. So what we want to do now, since we've got quite a lot of uh, stuff, we want to finish off um, the house. If you want to make it look good, then try not putting them right over the edge like that. Make it so it's uh, like this, you know, and put them round first, so that way, you know, you know, nothing can get in. There's a couple of things that I might have missed about the buttons, but we might get to that at one stage. Might. But basically, uh, oh crap. Basically what, what it is, what I was saying, was there's a thing called sneak, right? Now, if I go down there, ouch, I fell and hurt myself, yeah? Now watch this. No, watch. It won't fall. No matter how much I'm pushing forward, it will not go. Unless obviously I jump. Now as you can see as well, I'm moving slower. If you look on the top left corner, there's no one there. Now there's someone there. And if you look at him, he looks like he's bending. Basically, right? What we're looking for is if you can do this, like as if you're bound to someone, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Basically, that's sneak. So basically, when I'm like that, I'm moving slower, and I can't fall off anything. Even that little bit that was down there, I can't fall down. Until I take it off, look, even if I take it off, it, I'll still be on the edge, but watch. I just fall down. It's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, it's really, really good. It comes in handy. Like, so much handy. Like, you know, when you start when you're starting out building stuff, you you might not be able to build stuff. Like the best thing I suggest to people, start learning how to build things going up into the sky, and make sure you take some water and put it at the bottom first. Because well, if you're going to be high and then obviously you need to get down to get more more materials, you might drop and then you're going to uh, well. You're gonna die, and that's not particularly great. And now with these, I can move them down a little bit. So, so that way, um, you know, it's gonna be brighter, and it's using a bit more of the space. Like that one's good, but yeah, want to promote. So as I say, I'm just finishing off the uh, base at the moment, or as I just said to Volt, this is basically our base of operations. But the only downside with this game, every time you basically start something, you can basically have a base of operations. Now what you want to kind of do, since I've got no clock or anything, you want to kind of leave one open. I know you're thinking, that's kind of stupid. Well it is. But what you want to do, to make it easier, right, you want to get a space, and then you want to do that. 
Now, I don't think anything can get through, but if you really want to make sure nothing can get through, what you do is, you see these things called slabs? Get one of those. And they're half the size of the blocks that you're using. So you could stick one in there, and then nothing can get through. Nothing. See, so look at him. He's like, hey. Um, right, sorry, that one. And you don't have to stick them on the bottom as well. Whichever you're looking at, the top or the bottom, that's where it'll stick. So if I stick it at the top, yeah, you know, it'll be at the top then. Just be careful though when you're trying to get rid of them though. Because obviously, if you're getting rid of the stone ones, don't get rid of the stone with your hands. Never get rid of anything with your hands. Whatever you do, never. Because if you get things, if you get rid of things with your hand, like say, friends, if I get rid of this with my hand, it will disappear. It will never be. It will never be back again. That stone is gone forever, forever. Whereas if I use a pickaxe, it'll come back out. Now, if you want to see me do this, no, it'll take forever. But this is only good when you're stuck. If you're stuck. It'll do. And look, see, no, no, no uh, stone on. But don't worry about it too much, because stone and wood, you can get anytime you want. Like for instance, now there's no point in having this tree here because it's not going to grow. So in a way, what you want to do for uh, some fun is actually, have I made? I made a window on there yet? Have I? So that way you can see where it is. So if you see any daylight, good times. If you see night time, well, you know, you don't want that. Do not want that. And then you put the dirt back there. You can make a door if you want, but it depends how uh, good you are at the moment. And obviously at the moment, we're not exactly great. We haven't really traveled that much. so. So as I say, you can just plant the trees. Best thing to do with trees is make sure you put on a little spot. And then plant it. Because that way you will get it back. Have you played No Man's Sky? Yes. In a way it was good, but in a way it was it was poop. But it all depends on how um you was. I don't think I give it enough chance, but I did I did give it enough. Oh, I did. I liked it, but it got a bit boring because on Minecraft, you can make stuff. It's all good, you know. You can travel, you can go wherever you want. It's great. On No Man's Sky, you can do exact same thing, yes, but on No Man's Sky, if I stay in this place for too long and not go into an area where I can't breathe, where I can breathe, I will die. And plus, my weapons aren't, you know, unlimited. Like, say for instance, my hands are unlimited. Well, until um, someone kills me, obviously. Then uh, I'm in trouble. But, um, yeah. But yeah, as I say, Kid Vicious. Welcome and enjoy, but um, yeah, you just got to realize No Man's Sky was a good game, but not many people give it chances. I, I If you want to make sure that you, you want to see what I've done on No Man's Sky, uh, you go to YouTube and type in Ed's Plot and then put uh, No Man's Sky in. If it comes up awesome otherwise you're gonna have to type in my name and then go and search the whole entire channel which might not be great because um, you know you might end up finding more things that you like plans to see a new video why do we know Kid Vicious? well I think I've seen Kid Vicious before but I'm not entirely sure if you have Right, so what you want to do now, while you've got a little base sorted, is you need to go around and get your food and trees and whatnot again. 
as you run out. Yee! So forward twice and jump. It's a really good jumping. I don't reckon that tree's gonna grow. So move her out. The downside with the trees though is it makes shade. Now shade or darkness is your enemy on this game. And just remember, this isn't even half of the game yet. This isn't even half the game. We've still got to go into other worlds and I, I haven't really explored them too much because, well, there's things in there that kill me. I figured I'd give your community member an extra viewer. Ah, so, oh yes, see, I knew I'd seen you somewhere, but I thought you'd seen on, on, on my stream. Obviously, um, it was in Discord, so thank you very much. You know, it's very uh, nice of, of you, but um, obviously, you might have came at a wrong time, but I'm going to try and give it a little bit of time. It was only meant to be um, 20 to 30 minutes, <laughs> but um, yeah. In a way, though, I can give it a little bit longer because the the jobs that we got to do at the moment, not exactly great, but they have to still be, uh, well, done. Well, in a way, they don't have to be done, but they... They are kind of important because basically uh, some people aren't exactly great at knowing where to um, go. Zombie villagers, wow, crazy. Okay, supposedly if you get those into something, into one of your bases, and start giving them golden apples, supposedly you can make them, um, you know, well, normal villagers. And if you make them normal villagers, then there's a slight chance that you can make um, other stuff. There's a skeleton. See, this is why you need a, a bed. And there's a zombie with golden armor, so I might be able to nick that from him. Said might. Or he's gonna just fall down. Ow, what the hell? Where'd you come from? Oh shit, mini one. These are annoying. They're so fast. Really, really, really annoying. Shit, I'm dead. See what I mean? When you're not comfortable doing it, you shouldn't. And um, as you can see now, unless I know where I was, because I've got no map, got no nothing, but hopefully if I see all the torches that I put down somewhere, I might be all right. I'm updating Division 2 right now. Yeah, I, um, so far tonight I was meant to be on Division 2, but for some reason um, it didn't really uh, work out that great for me. Oh, there it is over there. Yay. For some reason it wouldn't let me pick up stuff, and every like 10 minutes it kept on going, you know what? You're quitting. So, kind of uh, poopy. Now, when you die, you've got to get to your area where you died as quick as possible. Now, obviously, it's right next to my base, and I, I know what I'm looking for. So, there's a slight chance... Oh, shit, I haven't been asleep for three days yet. So, there's the phantoms that I was talking about before. So, let's get all this shit quick, and then run into my house. Yeah, buddy. Right, it wasn't anything else, was it? Nope, there's some wood. Ah. And there's a tree growing. Nice. They, these are, these suck. Run! Ah, you mother. See? Ow! Skeleton now. Shit. Ah, oh, you mother. 
But the good news is, it always starts you in the same place. However, you keep on losing bits. <sighs> See what I mean? It's fun, but, you know, if you go out and not notice what you're doing, you're going to die. I'm still, uh, I'm still a level 5, you don't mind carry. No, I don't mind. No. And uh, Volt doesn't mind either. Out. 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 We we would carry it to the end of the earth. Right, we get in there and then we uh, put that in there. Then we're safe. Woo! -hoo. Okay, right. So what we need to do now? Um. I don't know really. I still need a bed. Did I eat the meat already? Man. Right. <laughs> right. See, so, I mean, this game's horrible, man. Not at all. Let me know when you're ready. See, like, say, for instance, um, when, if it works tomorrow, I will be on. Because at the moment, I'm trying to... Ow, what the hell? Shit, there's a guy with arrows shooting a little through hearts. That's like you vote. <laughs> Skills. The shots, look at that arrow. He shot me. <gasps> Spade. Ow. And the map. Ooh, and the candles. Run! Shit, zombie. Morning. Woo. Right. So, um, what you want is item frame, which is this. And I tell you, you need uh, eight sticks and one lever. When you get that, you can put your um, your map in there, and it'll give you a little bit more uh, safety. See, look, now what you want to do now, just wait until it goes daytime. So, while you're here, what you want to do is, if you want, you can go make a little wheat farm. But at the moment, just go and look for some supplies, like coal and stuff like that. So that way you can make more things. And because we've got this iron now, you need at least three of them. And you want to get yourself a bucket. Sounds crazy. A bucket. There's armor. There's there's swords. And you want to get a bucket. Yeah. See what I mean about the stairs? It's annoying. Alright. Uh, so what we want to do is put this in there we got a coal in there so that's good that's the reason why you keep at least one safe um, to move these back into order so you can get on um, um, And then we're good to go. But yeah, I almost bought R2 today out of impulse. Well, if you need help with that, uh, you can do. But at the moment, what might explain to you in English, or Spanish English, or whatever we uh, talk. And he, he will tell you that at the moment, it's probably not the best game to get. Unless you want to just play it for the story, then perfect, perfect. But to play it for online, it's a bit um, buggy at the moment. You know, sometimes things don't happen the way that they're meant to. And um, it's not great. You know, you want things to happen, but 
They don't happen. They do not happen. And it's not good when they don't happen. Like say for instance, one of the main things that you want, like the camp, it doesn't turn up. So, it's kind of uh, crazy. Right. Right, let's uh, see if we can find some stuff. Now, these stones that I'm doing now, an estate, and I think I had one before, um, dorite, that stuff. No, granite even. No, this is dorite. That's granite. If you get at least four of these, of each of them, you can get um, polished. And they look really nice, actually. Well, the granite looks does, anyway. And at the beginning of the game, you really don't... Ooh, nice, more iron. At the beginning of the game, you really don't want to um, mine anything else other than iron and... Um, stone or in this case it's cobblestone because if you do you won't end up having enough material to get another well in my case a pickaxe or um, a sword or something And there's ways of getting loads of things. Like as you can see, you can, you can just, you can, if you really want, you can mine every single thing in your site, or you can mine it um, going down in like a diagonal shape, like I did with those stairs, or you can get a little place like this and just go straight through. Now, depending on what level you're on. As in, like, this game has floors. So, say for instance, this is level one. I go up one. This is level two. So, if I go down, it'll be minus two, and so forth, and all that. But all you want to do is just keep yourself uh, busy during the night time in a little area where you can make stuff. And as I say, at the moment, I can make this into a little base and move all my stuff upstairs downstairs that way it's um, safer and as I say I've got this bit here which I can go further down but once you hit bedrock you can go further but you have to know the tricks to get further but otherwise you cannot go further than bed bedrock and bedrock is um, only a few little bits of grey bits. Oh, I can't. I can't see that tree. Ooh, sheep. Uh, hopefully, there's no one out there. Right. Let's get this. Let's make two buckets. Where's the buckets? Oh. That's because um, I written in. See, look. I can get all this armor. I need 24 pieces at least. So I'll get this. Get two of those, it's always worth getting two. You can get an iron sword, you know. Gives you a little bit more attack. You know, see, look, iron sword, you know, one plus attack. You know, and then these ones, uh, you can only use these for um, diamond and other stuff. And you get lighters, which can open up portals if you know how to do this. And as I said, look, polished door, right? Looks nice, doesn't it? Tasty. Like, look, uh, this is normal, and then this is polished. Look at it. If you like your effects, look at that. See? It's nice. Right, let's pour all this back in here for a second. Uh, iron. Let's get the sheep. Kill the sheep. Other than getting food, get the wool. And then, um, out. 
Yep, those guys, those guys suck. Try not to kill them unless you know what you're actually doing because, um, you know, they will hurt you. As long as you keep, like, flinging it like crazy, the only downside is you got to watch your areas. Because obviously um, something else could come at you. And obviously if you got, like, a little... Come on. Come on. Bring it. I almost... Oh, uh, shit, it's been more than five minutes. Damn it. Give me a second. Come on. Ow, bitch. I want to get that, but obviously, uh, you know, he's going to keep on trying to get me. There he is, he's dead. Woohoo! get this uh, axe. This tree out of the way. Get some more wood. And obviously what you need to do when you're getting this, you need to be patient really. You know, because otherwise if you do this what I'm doing now, there's less chance of um, things dropping. Obviously you can be lucky like I was just then, but, you know. And be careful when it rains, because when it rains, um, in a way, the game still thinks it's dark. See what I mean? Look at that. Farming trees, bruv. See, look at that. Hardly anything from it. Got an apple and a sapling. Now, you get leather from the cows. But it doesn't really mm. matter what you're getting at the moment. Mm. All you need is food. And you see these little bits here? Make sure you get some of those as well. Those come in handy. And while you've got your um, buckets as well, what you need to do is get some water. And then go home and make an infinite water source. And I'll show you how to do that when I've got a bit of food. Food. I say, I'll try and get eight of everything, and then there we go. I also need a load of wood so I can get some uh, coal. And that's it, pretty much everywhere. But as long as you uh, replant your trees, you're good to go. Because at the moment, um, I've got a little bit of coal that can possibly come off. But what you need to do, and every tree that you break, like if I break that one, it's going to be a different wood colour than that one. That one's a bit of a yellowy one. So. Why are you using a shovel? Nobody. See, it's taking forever because it's a wooden one. But, if it wasn't a wooden one, it'd be awesome. And... Whatever you do, when you're destroying the trees, make sure there's no wood in these next one. Otherwise, it will not just great. It will not um, banish. Like for instance, that wood's right there, so it's connected to this, so it won't um, disappear. So just make sure that everything is, you know, not connected. 
and you'll start knowing when 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 it's able to uh, when it's not connected, because it starts um, vanishing on its own. If it starts vanishing on its own, it's good. And then when it's good, you know you know you got it right then. So I got ten. So that's another um, stack of coal. Like for instance, chickens, are, they're a good source of food and they're quite easy to uh, attract. And there's my sheep. So now I've got um, the free wool that I needed. Once you basically got a bed and a uh, food in income, like say for instance for now, I'll see if I can get at least 10 of these. And then once I've got 10 of these, because I've got the water now, and I've got a bit of dirt at home, which I could probably just get rid of that. Basically, um, you can make your own wheat farm, which is good, because then you never really have to go up out, outside again, which is um, pretty good. And if you never have to go outside again, then it's good. Obviously, you want to go outside again because, well, you know, you don't want to be um, just in the same area. And as long as you keep on replanting them, you're good to go. And as to say, look, most people can't don't know where they're living. So what you want to do, what I do, I don't like to go too far. I always like to know where I am a little bit. So if I die here, I've got to run from all over there and get there. But the good news is, when I put the ped, when I put the bed down, uh, hold on, someone texted someone before as well. So let's see if we can um, get that back. I know what you're thinking, why is he writing yo like about a million times? I know. It doesn't matter about what I write, it just just sometimes it doesn't want to uh, come up with whatever it was. If you want, whoever it was who uh, did it, if they're still here, you can try and, you know, ow, bitch. But um, yeah, sometimes it all happens. Sometimes it won't. Otherwise, what I'll have to do, and I think I'm gonna have to go to bed as well. But I, I think the, tonight we've done quite well. Ah, oh, bugger. Considering. So what you want to do? Um, get your wool. Get your planks of wood. Get your crafting table, and then you look for this a white bed. At the moment, on on the old version, right, before all the updates, you could choose any color of bed. Doesn't matter what you pick. Now you have to, um, you know, get the color of the wool that you got. So um, if you get a red wool, you gotta have uh, this, and just put it down. But it takes up two spots. And if there's no monsters around, you'll be able to fall asleep like this, which is nice, which is great. But and now, whenever I die, I'll 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 turn up back here again. And if you want to see that happen, I can show you. Just give me two seconds. All right, first things first. Uh, need some coal. So one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> so put that in there put that in there and if you want if you've got enough supplies get eight of these out one two three four five six seven eight 
and then get yourself another furnace so that way you don't have to take as long and then you get one of these Put back in there and what you want to do is cook some stuff so get your chicken first wherever the least is get that one first because there's a slight chance that you can get all of them which is nice see cooked chicken great now I've got to wait for that and there's three while I'm waiting for that I can eat the chicken get some beef beef get ready with your next one which is going to be this one basically using the amount of um, coal as much as possible and as I say you can get up to eight things cooking and there you go there's more stuff in there and there you go back to full health again so as you can hear there's a, a thingy round it says you can only sleep at night time and um, yeah so what you want to do now when you're starting to think about it you need to get two more so you just need one two then you do one two and you go one and then you, one, and then you can make that chest bigger if you want which then you got more space in that one or you could have separated it and put it and got a few more it's up to you though and obviously this is going to say munch is nearby so what we'll do is we'll stick it just be careful when you're sticking it to certain places though because you know they don't like cat Now, I fell down. Yeah. What you need to do, if you want to make it easier with things like that, make sure you get some ladders. How you get some ladders is you get your sticks, you need at least eight of them, I think it is. And then, you know, you can get thingy. Right, first things first, while we're here, this is the level that you want to uh, get stuff, uh, which is nice. Uh, get that. So now I've pretty much got a bit of food, so I should be kind of safe for a while. I will have to go out soon, but not much. And obviously I've got um, some wheat stuff, so should be fine. So what you want to do while you have this, see I don't really know what this does. It used to tell you what, what it was as well. It used to be a button that says, what's this? And it told you. Now it's like, yeah, no. So, because we've got three of these as well, we can use those. But what you want to do first is as I say, try and keep all your good parts together. That way, um, yeah, you know where they are. But yeah, what you want to do now is make an uh, infinite water system. And now that is, as long as you've got three blocks out of the way. So one, two, three. Then what you do is each bucket, put it at the end of each. One and two. Now they keep on feeding the water into the middle one. So I can just go boop, boop. And there you go, it's done. Done. So what you want to do now is... Uh, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do is I like to get um, I like to make some slabs. And then I do this and this and this. That way, everybody who comes in here will only know it's that one. That one there. Yeah. So there's 
but they still can get that one over there. As I say, if you can see the black square, it will get it. And uh, yeah, that's not as like, great. But yeah, it's not too bad. But yeah, that's pretty much how Minecraft kind of goes if um, you got some sort of skill. So don't be um, worried about, oh, but I've heard my friend, they do all this, I've done all this. Don't worry about that, right? I'm gonna have to turn it off, so I'm gonna check out the um, words of whoever it was that was here, that said whatever they said, and hopefully it was something nice. Uh, right, so. What? <laughs> Right, so it was Vault that I missed. Uh, one of these days, hopefully, you'll get RDR2 also in Division 2. You get scaled up if you're lower level, so you will be getting kills and dealing damage. I'm presuming that was. You should put your YouTube channel in info so people can just click it. They do. They can. In a way, they can anyway. If if you if you go to my info, there's a link that gets to my channel. Um, it's it goes to just cause free, but when you're on that, you can you, you can click on my channel then, and there you go. Also, if you ever want to know most of my things, just type the word Ed's Plot, all my old stuff anyway, Ed's Plot, and then type a name of a game. If if a name of a game comes up, that is me. So, yeah. Great. It's great moon. Right. So that in there. Right. So what we could do for the moment. Right, we need some sticks. Pray. Twelve. Okay, let's um Three. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Eight. Okay. Um, Need some trap doors. Now trap doors are pretty cool because you can just put one on there, which I'm going to put one on here. So that way you can close it so no one can go in there unless they go whoop, and then get it. So a little bit of safety for you. Now what we're going to do, actually I need some sticks. I haven't got a thing have I? Uh, sticky sticks. Oh. Need one, two, three, and sticks. Alright. All right. We're going to make a little wheat farm, and then that is the last thing we're going to do. Because then we're pretty much safe for everything. So we're going to make it. Um, Eight bits. Obviously, we've only got three things at the moment, so yeah. And what you need to do is make three high. And depending on how many you're doing, which obviously I only need at least nine squares, which is great. So. Uh, one more. Now the wheat grows too high, so it goes to basically grows in that one. So you can put a torch there if you need to, and you do need to. Basically, you need to light the hell out of it. So take all this stuff out now. If you find anything like iron or coal, worth getting. If not, then crazy. Then put your dirt in if you've got any. Obviously, if you have, then great. 
then get your bucket of water, stick it in the middle. You don't have to do this, but it's a lot easier to collect stuff. But put a trap door or something over the top of it. Gotta go, Eddie. Have a great evening. Vault plate. Hopefully, if uh, Division 2 is working tomorrow, we'll get it on. If not, um, one of my friends, Leo, right? He, um, well, I think you've played with him before. He, uh, he, he, he plays Warframe. So, at the moment, it might have already downloaded, but I don't know. Warframe. So, if you've got that back on your computer, yes, bruv. Yes. And then we might get that going. Right. Uh, I forgot one thing. But otherwise, well, thanks for uh, stopping by and being awesome. And hopefully I'll see you tomorrow on Division 2. Or, you know, on um, Red Dead if um, some reason, you know, I can. Right. Uh, so that We need a hoe now, which I forgot to get. This is what you need for your planting stuff. This is quite good. So you need to go. So I've only got three at the moment, so you need three. Then you need to light the place up as best you can. And then, uh, yeah, I always put uh, way too much in, but hey, it works. So. And then what's going to happen then? That will make uh, free wheat. Which then I'll have, and then I'll be able to, um, well, you know, make some bread, and then I'll be able to live forever, as it were. Right, I need chest one, two. But yeah, it's crazy. Now, as long as you don't put anything on top of that, you can basically keep on opening it. So when you're standing on it as well, you can't... What? Okay. Uh, supposedly when you're standing on it, you supposedly can't open it, but obviously... Now you can. Anyway, so what you want to stick in there is all your plant supplies and whatever you're using in there. And then, yeah, all you got to do is wait for it to grow. And it'll be groovy. It'll be groovy, baby. Groovy. So yeah, well, I will see you tomorrow, and uh, Kid Vicious, if you're still here, awesome. Um, if you want Kid Vicious, right, I could also, just for you if you want, I can get back on No Man's Land, No Man's Sky even, and we can try and um, get crazy with it, you know. I can show you what I've done, tried to do even. It just got a little bit annoying, because some of it just went, nah. And I was like, Ugh, what are you meant to do? I think the only reasons why I like it, or liked it, or ha you know, haven't played it in a while, is because the exploration. Some of the weird animals is hilarious. Yeah. The weird animals. They were cool. Right, I'll just get rid of these torches. See, look, look, this is what I'm talking about. We just ran into a cave. However, this is the cave that was here before, so... Um, so that means there's some iron here. Nice. However, there's only one iron. But still, one iron. Oh, no, let's do that. Nice. See, this is why you need to uh, get into caves. If you're willing to take the risk, caves are awesome. But just be careful when mine is straight up like that. Because if something falls and it looks red, you're probably just about to get killed by lava. And that's not good. So if you wanted to, you can have a little look down... Oh, cool. Now, 
Now, if you have sticks, you can make coal on you straight away. But just be careful, don't go too far without light because you'll get lost in no time. And if you can see... No, I'm taking the risk. It's dark. And look at that, I've got uh, quite a bit of iron. Quite a bit of iron. Now, because there's two ways in now, basically, I can use either the top way to get in, or this way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cobblestone right there, and one right there. That way, bingy, nothing's going to happen. And because I've got, um, two coal. can make 16 iron so that means I'll have 18 iron all together which would be nice right okay uh, while well, we got these let's get these um no not that one um this one right also uh one last bit of thingy while that's waiting to um, do what you want to do if you want to go exploring you know make sure you have some supplies left over so if you make that into 9 then you might be good so just make it into 12 because it's an even number then take out a little bit of a stack of something And then, you don't have to take these ones, but I, I know that I can get them back in no time. See, look, night time. So what you do is you go all the way down. And you go, boop. See, it's growing already. Yay. Right. And everything that's... um can't survive in the daytime, they're all being burned. Burn. Which is nice. So what you want to do, if you're ever going to go um, wandering, what you want to do is, see this? That's wrong. What you want to do is go one, two, three, so jump and then put one down. Remember, don't go more than uh, three. If you go four, it's great. It's higher. It's great. Make sure you stick a thing on it. But you're going to drop down and you're going to get hurt. So always go three high. One, two, three. Because for some reason you won't get hurt. And then basically, just keep going like that. And if you see anything on the way... Make sure that you uh, give them a good scene too. And then look, see? That thing there, I can see that, I can see that one, and I can see my base. And I can see a wasp. Morning. You alright? Good. 
Alright. Ooh, pig. Ooh, you can be a big pig. You can be a big pig too. Oi! And as I say, you just gotta keep making sure that you can see all your surroundings. And then you'll be fine. For the first couple of uh, minutes though, you know, in Minecraft game, just basically go around getting food, wood, and uh, cobblestone as best you can. That is the main things in the game. You can see, look, still see where I'm going. Obviously, you don't have to stick them that close to each other. Because the further you do apart, obviously the more you can, um, well, you know, go. Now you can see, look, gray sheep. Yeah. And these weeds will drop these, so they'll come in handy for my uh, wheat farm. If, for instance, they happen. And what that enchanting does, basically, if you have any, um, if you have a book, you're able to um, get stuff from it. So just make sure you can see your last one before you start um, going crazy. If you go crazy, then hey. And what you want to do, as I say, while you're out, get all your supplies. Now, the oak trees give you the smallest amount, but they're the ones that grow the fastest. And they're the ones that a more chance to uh, give you your saplings back and there goes that Where's me stone axe Where's me stone axe I thought I had a stone axe bugger never mind um, easy solution I guess I go back, or I can, um, you know, see, look, see those wood there. That's what you want to watch out for. If and when you get good at this game though, you can start doing anything and if you get really good but just can't be asked doing the work anymore, there's things called auto farms you can do. See what I mean? I couldn't get the the uh, thing out of the way. Didn't drop any of the birch ones, so that birch is gone. But I'm going to leave that there anyway, just in case I get enough of them. Right. Huh. Uh, I wouldn't advise killing the baby ones, but you can do. But as I say, wouldn't advise it because well. You know, not great.
Well, the good news is I'm gonna have loads of food, and I got more wood to come in. So. Hey. See that? I didn't go too far, but I can, I also know where I've kind of been. So there's chances that um, if I do get lost, well, I shouldn't. One, two, three. Yeah, five past two. I need to go to bed like about an hour ago. No, two hours ago. That'll be four hours of sleep. Mm. Come on, where's the bloody wheat? Yes. Oh, right, I'm gotten them. Yeah. Don't worry about uh, collecting too many of them. Yeah, you know, once you've started getting the farm, great. It's done in no time. Right. And look at that. We got a bit of food as well. So yeah. Right, let's kill. Let's kill this piggy, and then we're good. Watch out for those guys as well. Supposed to be if you kill those guys and you're next to a village, they will, um, you know, they will, you know, kill the villagers by sounds of it. So just be careful. Right, I've got no more uh, things, so yeah, and I can't run anymore now because I got no. Ah, oh, bucket. Oh, I need a bucket. Oh, I need a bucket. If I can get that lava, oh, I can make a cobblestone generator. Yeah. Ow. I can't run them. Just let you know. So, if anything comes at me, yeah, I'm kind of dead. But the phantoms won't come at me anymore. You know that thing that I killed and got like a weird shell off it? Those will not come at me anymore. Well, unless I don't sleep, then, eh. Yeah. That should be enough food. Right, we got any more or Oh, I did get one. Yay, I got a birch tree. Nice. Oh, you got a birch lapping. Nice. Cool. Cute. Alright. Okay. Um, let's go and finish off. I can't believe I, I lost my uh, axe. I can't remember where I lost that. hoe out and then finish off the thing one two three four five. and it's always handy to have spare because that way you when you're hollering them you can just and I found out if you stand above them for some reason it works out quite well okay 
go to bed and we are actually going to bed so make sure you always always options and save and quit and if you want to take my name down by all means otherwise see you when I see you next laters mm -hmm.